much to hope there's not more of you. Yes, and I'm your one. stopping by and in today's video we are going to be going over a build that is just absolutely phenomenal for tricksters um it is certainly different than what's been floating around out there meaning the terminal velocity with the automatic pump shotgun and fortress build um this one just kind of makes the trickster such a supreme being especially if it's your primary if it's your main and you have you know you want to run something different than a shotgun you want to run an assault rifle um this i mean it's just absolutely crazy what you can do with this build the potential of it is there the firepower is there and it's just yeah it's, it, it's absolutely intense so without further ado let's just go ahead and get straight into the build so right now we are running the three-piece maxwell's demon and it is a beast especially if you get the gear pieces that you uh with the correct rules that you want with the correct mods you cannot go wrong using maxwell's demon so maxwell's demon the three piece each successful assault weapon shot grants a firepower bonus that stacks up to 50 percent to reach the bonus a half of weapon magazine ammo must be spent as successful shots on achieving maximum stacks the firepower bonus is raised to 100 percent and burn is applied to both the player and enemies within a 15 meter radius the bonus is active for up to half of weapon magazine ammo capacity bonus is lost upon reloading or swapping weapons so with that this essentially you are con consistently having that 100 firepower bonus and it's it, it just changes the game when you are running a, a trickster with an assault rifle so with this for the helmet we've got the bonus firepower cooldown reduction and close range damage it's not even maxed out uh but we are running captain hunter dum dum bullets and then we are running pain transfer uh the bottom the bottom tier mod of course you can't change um so it's just kind of like a what if you know if you if you do like using time rift you can go ahead and use time rift and then you'll get 20 percent of weapon damage and 20 percent of anomaly damage dealt to one affected enemy will be transferred to another affected enemy so it's just kind of there you know I, preferably i would rather have something that would either benefit me with um uh twisted rounds or hunt the prey or something of that nature but for this i mean just the fact that i do have a helmet at level 58 for this is actually pretty pretty good for the chest piece for running the uh, other parts of maxwell's demon we've got bonus firepower cooldown reduction and close range on that we got the tier 3 mod sharp eye critical shots while aiming down science grant you 41,847 firepower for five seconds which stacks up to three times we got personal space which grants you 12 percent bonus to close range weapon damage and then we also have skull piercer rounds as our as our uh third tier mod while the skill is active critical damage is increased with every critical shot up to 20 percent bonus resets when the skill ends so that uh, skull piercer that's actually a pretty good tier three mod to use when you are running uh something uh, with twisted rounds just because uh the way with the build is set up you are constantly having twisted rounds proc so you're going to get that 20% critical damage bonus um, as long as you still have your twisted rounds uh, active. For the leg pieces, we've got uh, and the, the uh, last piece of the uh, Maxwell's Demon. We got bonus firepower, cooldown reduction, and a close range damage again. We got King Slayer, critical hits on an elite increase your firepower by 138. 
uh, 138 for 10 seconds. Keep in mind, your firepower is also going to increase every time you do level up. Um, so the mods, so what my numbers are referencing might not be what your numbers are referencing. Just keep that in mind. We've got bloodlust, critical shots, increase your firepower by 13,805, stacks up to three times, and deteriorates every five seconds. Bloodlust is an okay tier, uh, tier two mod. Preferably, you would rather want to have another tier three mod or some other type of beneficial mod that's gonna work in place of bloodlust bloodlust is kind of on the low side of firepower so you know you take it take with it what you will and then we got twisted rounds while the skill of the active killing shots are plunged 30 percent of your ammo in your magazine ammo bargain is actually a really good one to have especially if you're not uh, keen on using hunt the prey to constantly refresh your magazine um so it's kind of like a backup uh, in case you aren't uh, very viable, I mean, there's several times where I've played through and I've totally forgotten to, you know, use Hunt the Prey to keep my Twisted Rounds up. But this one, Ammo Bargain, comes in handy whenever, you know, you are uh, eliminating the enemies and with the firepower that you deal with, the damage that you dealt with, um, with this build, you are constantly getting your ammo back. So for the gloves, we're just running a piece of uh, Broodmother gloves, uh, uh, Apocalypse Purple tier, and then we've got max health, close range damage, and cooldown, instant reload, teleporting instantly replenishes magazine your current weapon, what goes around, incoming bullets have a 20% chance of being deflected towards an enemy, dealing 139,265 damage, and then we have bullet kindling, deal 12% more damage against enemies afflicted by burn. You're definitely gonna want bullet kindling because of the uh, the uh, Maxwell's Demon uh, bonus, uh, the set bonus, because when you are burned, your enemies are gonna get burned as well. So that's an extra 12% damage bonus. So just keep that in mind. So try and find a pair of gloves or try and find a pair, uh, uh, another gear set piece that does have bullet kindling in your in your uh, third mod slot. That way you have the availability to choose what you want in the upper two mods as well. And then lastly, we are running the footwear of Terminal Velocity. I haven't found a good pair of boots yet. Um, I'm still kind of grinding for a good pair of boots to max, maximize the efficiency of this build. But with this, we're running max health, cooldown reduction, and close range damage. We've got Hyperloop. The skill can be activated one more time before triggering the cooldown. Life of the party, incoming damage is reduced by 6% for each generating close range, stacks up to four times, so that will give you a 24% damage reduction. And then we've got the Fuse. Sprinting increases your armor by 116,922 and resistance by 50%. Uh, Diffuse is an okay tier two mod. Um, it's not something I would normally go to. It does kind of help, especially in sticky situations when you have to run around and you are trying to get to the next to the next enemy, the next NPC. Um, it, it's a very situational tier two mod, so preferably you would want to find either a different tier two mod or a tier three mod that's going to benefit the build in some other way. But the way this build is set up is mostly just kind of making sure that you do have as much damage as possible. Uh, that way, when you are running the uh, set, uh, the set bonus, you know you're maximizing your efficiency of your firepower. So now for your uh, for your weapons, now you can run pretty much any assault rifle that you really want to. Uh, I actually recommend you try grinding for the Voodoo Matchmaker, and the reason being is because, so this one dropped at 212,000 firepower. Absolutely a beast. Um, it's As you can see, it is much higher than all of my other weapons, and a lot of my weapons are level 57, level 58. So 212 files of firepower, Voodoo Matchmaker comes with Weapon Life Leech, which is a huge plus, especially if you're playing Trickster, being in close range. Healing received is 21% and the close range damage is 11.3%. Ultimate damage link shots leak up to four enemies showing 40% of their weapon damage dealt and 20% of their anomaly damage dealt. Omen, uh, shots launch a cover piercing anomaly projectile that inflicts bleed, deals 452,920 damage and applies a status that increases damage received by 10% for three seconds and then we've got violent rupture shots create a volcanic explosion dealing up to 843,304 damage within a six meter radius this is such a supreme role like this is absolutely a 
beast and if you saw the gameplay footage beforehand you could see that it was just melting enemies left and right the damage was just like super aggravating it was there i highly recommend you try and find a an assault rifle that does have uh, as much uh, firepower and damage as this voodoo matchmaker does i think i'm gonna be running voodoo matchmaker for the foreseeable future just because of the way it rolled and because it also has weapon life leech and as a trickster you know being in close quarters weapon life leech is an absolute godsend but if you don't want to run voodoo matchmaker i do run do recommend you run something that's kind of like time ripper because it does have the ultimate stiffening uh shots and flicks slow on enemies for every one second uh, this one in particular, Ravenous Locust, is actually a very good uh, tier 3 mod just because of the uh, the damage over 6 seconds and inflicting weakness. And then you could run something like Firestorm, or you could run uh, Fortress as well. Uh, the only thing with the Time Ripper is that it does not come with Weapon Life Leech, so it is kind of a big, uh, kind of a drawback, but it still performs nonetheless. But uh, so for the secondary, uh, I'm just running Deathscape, nothing too fancy here. I was trying to see if I can make this kind of like into a toxic build. Still kind of figuring out the pieces of this, but with this one, we've got stigmatized. Successful shots to flick toxic and mark, mark the target for five seconds. Killing a marked enemy causes them to explode the only 341,065 damage in a six meter radius. It marks the enemies caught in the explosion. Noxious spawn, spawn, successful shots spawn three and with projectiles that move towards the enemy with the highest health, dealing 175,521 damage and applying toxic to the target and enemies within a one meter range. Noxious spawns is actually very good. I would highly recommend you try and grind for it uh, in your tier three bottom mod rather than having the next one I'm about to go over, which is Telefrag. I hate this mod. I do not like Telefrag whatsoever. I think it's absolutely absolutely ridiculous um just because whenever you do whenever you do end up killing an enemy you're teleported to that target's location and if in you're if you're in a big group of enemies or a big group a uh, big mob you're just you're running the risk of just getting obliterated um but yeah so i would hi highly recommend staying away from telefrag unless you're very keen on kind of maneuvering and working with telefrag um there's also like a tier three hunt the prey mod where if you eliminate the enemy within three seconds and you get teleported back to the spot that you were in it's yeah it, it really it really messes with your head so but yeah, so Chris is currently running Deathscape, and then for the pistol, we are running Spirit Breaker. Nothing too fancy there. Just kind of wanted to make sure that my average of uh, the gear level was there. So now for the skills, we are running Twisted Rounds. Uh, we are running Hunt the Prey, and then we are running the Venonator's Knife. So the reason why we are running the Venonator's Knife is because it does help with uh, some with uh with damage outputs and also interrupting the um the enemies that like specifically the bosses so in the gameplay footage that you saw you could see that i was constantly spamming hunt the prey and i was constantly spamming hunt the uh, venonator's knife just because i was able to go back and forth between the boss eliminate eliminate him and then that way he would kind of forget his next uh set of his next set of instructions, which is going to the center of the room and trying to do his whole throwing the ax and everything else, all that other type of crap. Um, so you kind of want to run these three specific skills. Um, if you wanted to, you could definitely run uh, borrow time if you like that skill, but or you could also run time rift, like I said before in the very beginning, like the Helmet of Maxwell's Demon, time rift, 20% of weapon damage and 20% of anomaly damage dealt to one affected enemy will be transferred to another affected enemy. You could get away with running time rift just because of the big group of mods in the uh, trials of, uh, uh, in the trials uh, section. 
So now with the class, you're probably wondering why it, the way it is, why am I not running a full top tree firepower? Well, in order to maximize the efficiency of this build and main, make sure that you do have the sustainability, you wanna try and have some health and some shield degradation. So that's kind of why we went into the bottom tree hybrid and then went up into the firepower and finished it off. So we're running max health by 10%, increase your resistance by 15%, max health again, shield degradation by 30%, and then max health again. Uh, by 10%. And then go moving upwards, we're running Outrider Executioner, activating movement skills, increases your weapon damage by 35% for eight seconds. We've got close range weapon damage by 15%. We've got activation of deception skills, increase your weapon damage by 35 seconds for eight seconds. Cooldown of your deception skills by 15%. Unforeseen end when attacking enemies from behind, all your weapon damage is decreased by 20%. Scion of Power, when your damage skills ends, increase your weapon damage by 35% for 8 seconds. Close range weapon damage by 50% arms trick. Death probability, increase your weapon damage by 8%. Your wand go up and get uh, the decreased cooldown of your movement skills by 15% and then get some weapon leech by as well by 5%. Uh, when attacking enemies from behind, all your weapon damage is increased by 20% again. Increase your weapon damage against at least by 50%. Bounty Hunter, maximize uh, your magazine size by 50%. And then we've got Assault Weapon Damage by 12%. And then we've got the Cold Calculation for each enemy in close range. Your weapon damage is decreased by 8%. For the Pax Tree, we're, cut, we're going into the bottom tree now. And then we are doing Triggerman. Your damage is increased by 15% for each skill on cooldown. So you should, because you're going to have... Um, Twisted rounds kind of proc the entire time. You're only going to get about 30% for your other skills so that you'll get a 30% damage increase. Activating deception skills grants you 50% shield every one second for four seconds. We've got failsafe protocols. When your health drops below 30%, get 50% shield and 20% damage mitigation for three seconds. Failsafe protocols can be triggered every 10 seconds. Power overwhelming. Increase your firepower by 40% of your anomaly power when using an assault weapon. So this is he heavily geared towards using an assault rifle or a double gun or an LMG. And then we've got perpetu perpetuum trickery. Critical shots increase your anomaly power by 10%, stacking up to 10 five times. The stacks are consumed by the next damage skill you use. Activating damage skills increase your assault weapon, da weapon damage by 50% for 7 seconds. And then for the ascension, right now we're currently rocking... Uh, critical chance by five and a half percent critical damage by ten percent weapon damage by ten percent and then we are going into long range damage for one percent and then close range damage for six point four percent so nothing too fancy there uh just kind of focusing on the main aspects of what's going to give you the most efficient firepower so other than that guys that is pretty much it that is the build i mean I highly recommend you give this build a shot. Definitely try and grind out for the uh, Maxwell's Demon set pieces. They are absolute, it's absolutely amazing what uh, what this build can do. I'm very surprised, like I can actually run an assault rifle to with my trickster without having to use a shotgun and it's such a breath of fresh air. That way I'm not so focused on one single thing. Um, but I'll probably be running this build for quite some time and just tweaking it here and there just to make it uh, min-maxing and making it as efficient as possible. But other than that, guys, if you have any questions, definitely leave it down in the comment section below. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please go ahead and leave a comment, leave a like, and go ahead and subscribe to the video if you're not already subscribed to it. And if you want to see more build videos, more uh, different and unique build videos, definitely let me know what you would like to see next. I'm probably going to try and make a sidearm build just because sidearms are being heavily heavily used now in this update. And there is a gear uh, set bonus that does kind of focus in on the sidearm use. I wanna see just how proficient you can get with sidearms in this. Um, it should be very, very, very interesting. But other, again, other than that guys, that is it. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys around next time. Take care.